Hi, so we are here on the online platform for 3D modeling, which is Onshape. Uh, it is kind of like an online inventor or online SolidWorks or an online um, uh, Fusion 360. So um, let's take a look. <clears throat> so we're here uh, at www.onshape.com. We're going to go ahead and sign in, which takes us if I was already logged in. So it's going to take us straight to cam.onshape.com. That's the actual tool itself. Uh, a couple helpful notes. So, uh, so basically to check your uh, browser, if I go ahead and uh, reload this page here, you'll notice that it will run um, this cad.onshape.com forward slash check. It'll just double check that you have like the, the browser that you're running is going to uh, going to support the tool. Um, it doesn't take much, but it's uh, but it's good to know that you're using the correct browser. So I've noticed that Chrome gets pretty good numbers on this. Um, so there we go. All right, so let's take a look at the uh, interface here. So uh, uh, Onshape has all the things that you're familiar with. They're just in different places. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look here. Let's go ahead and make a document. So we're going to go to Create and then Document. So notice that there's no, um, there are no uh, like different types of documents, right? So, so you know, in, in Vendor we have um, parts, assemblies, drawings, presentations. In uh, Onshape, you have one document and then you basically create different parts, assemblies, drawings inside that document, okay? So how you do that is if we take a look down at the bottom here, you see that we have Part Studio Assembly, right? Part Studio 1 and Assembly 1, right? If I wanted to add more assemblies, I'd click on the plus down here and I'd, um, I'd create another assembly, create a drawing, which is just like a drawing in Inventor or in um, in SolidWorks. Um, okay, or create another part studio, which is another group of parts. All right, so that is that is a uh, kind of how the different types of documents fit together. So uh, so we can think of a part as you know, if we think of a keyboard as something we're drawing, say we're drawing a keyboard, we can think of it as a part is the keys and the set you know each key would be its own part they'd be different shapes right and then basically an assembly would be the entire keyboard put together and then if we wanted to go ahead and make a 2d representation of that to send out to uh you know somebody to fabricate the keys then we would make a drawing so it's kind of your classic um <clears throat> your classic drafting you know drawing there okay so a couple things you notice that we have our cube here, but you'll notice right off the bat that we can't drag the cube. So there I am trying to click and drag, uh, but if I click the front, it'll it'll spin around. So how do I how do I move around here? Well, if you have a wheel mouse, I'm clicking the wheel, the center wheel, and that's how we pan. Okay, and then if I right click, that's how I'm rotating. Okay, so left clicking on the cube is not going to get you anywhere. Basically, you want to uh, right click, and that will that will get your um, your rotation. Okay, so we have our ribbon up at the top here. And we'll notice that uh, if you kind of move over, you notice that we're basically in, uh, in 3D mode here. So we have extrude, revolve, sweep, loft, thicken. Then we have a couple other tools here like enclose. Uh, we have our you know, very familiar icons for 3D operations here. Uh, we also have some sheet metal. You know, there's not the different types of files. So we did also have our sheet metal functions over here. Um, okay, and then we basically have our origins to the to left here. So this is our, our equivalent of our explorer bar, right? Okay, uh, we also are able to turn things off. So, so the interface does get kind of cluttered, especially with these origins. So as we're going along, we can go ahead and hide those. Okay, so that's kind of our preview, just getting started creating our first document.